Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is all about impact testing exemptions for carbon steels as per ASME section 8 division 1. As we all know, the ductility of a material is a function of temperature. For carbon and low alloy steel exhibit a drastic change in their room temperature ductility at sub-zero service temperature. We can see a sudden drop in their notch toughness properties below the transition range of temperature which should be a matter of concern. But the impact testing process is a time and money consuming process. So we have to make assessment to see whether the pressure vessel is exempted from impact testing or not. In order to make an assessment, we have to go through these clauses that is UG20F, UCS66A, UCS66B and UCS68C. First refer to UG20F and if we are exempted from this clause, then we do not need to proceed further. If we are not exempted from impact testing by UG20F, then we have to proceed to UCS66A. And if we are not exempted by UCS66A, then we have to move to UCS66B. If we are exempted from UCS66B, then there is no need for more assessment. Otherwise, we have to proceed to UCS68C. And again, if we are still not exempted from impact testing, then we have to carry out impact testing. As per UG20F, a vessel impact testing is not mandatory for pressure vessels that satisfies all of the following requirements. That means a vessel is exempted from impact testing as per UG20F, then it must satisfy all of the given requirements. The first requirement is that for P number 1, group number 1 or 2 materials, the thickness shall not exceed 13 mm for material listed in cow A of figure 66 and 25 mm for material listed in cow B, C or D of figure UCS 66. We will go through figure UCS 66 later on this lesson. And the second requirement is that it must be hydrostatically tested. We can use pneumatic test instead of hydrostatic test. Then the vessel must satisfy the requirement of mandatory appendix 35, which is a rules for mass production of pressure vessels. And the third requirement is that the design temperature not warmer than 345 degrees Celsius nor colder than minus 29 degrees Celsius. And no thermal or mechanical shock loading is present and no cyclic loading is present on the vessel. If the vessel satisfies all of the described requirements, then we are exempted from impact testing. If the vessel is not exempted from impact testing as per UG20F, then we have to move to UCS66A. This is a figure UCS66A, which gives the relationship between the minimum design metal temperature and thickness. It has four different codes, code A, code B, code C, code D. The code D material has an impact, impact properties greater than all of the other. Code C has, a, has an impact property less than code D and code B has an impact property less than the code C and code A has the least impact property. If the minimum design metal temperature and the governing thickness combination is on or above this code, then we are exempted from impact testing. As per UCS 66, if our minimum design metal temperature and the governing thickness combination is on or above the code, then we are exempted from impact testing. Unless we have to perform impact testing. The cow A applies to all carbon and low alloy steels not listed in cow B, C, and D. 
curve B applies to SA515 grade 60, SA516 grade 65 and 70 if not normalized etc. And curve C applies to SA516 grade 55 and 60 if not normalized etc. Curve D applies to SA516 if normalized or congealed or tempered etc. For example, if we have a material, a pressure vessel that is fabricated by using SA516 grade 70 and is a normalized plate whose nominal thickness is 25 mm and our minimum design metal temperature is minus 36 degrees Celsius. In order to check whether our material is exempted from impact testing, we have to draw a perpendicular line from the x-axis, that is the governing thickness. In our case, our thickness is 25 mm. And to draw a perpendicular line from the minimum design metal temperature, in our case, it is minus 36 degrees Celsius, which will intersect at a point. Check the point is on or above or below the curve. In our case, the intersecting point is below the curve. That means we have to perform impact testing. As well, UCS 66. The figure UCS 66 is converted into a table. You can see right from this. The material, in our case, our material is one inch material, SA516 grade 70, which comes under the curve D category. And the material is exempted from impact testing up to minus 35 degrees Celsius. Since our minimum design metal temperature is minus 36 degrees Celsius, then we have to perform impact testing. Since we are not exempted from impact testing as per figure UCS 66 or table UCS 66, we have to check into UCS 66B whether we are exempted from impact testing or not. UCS66B is a coincidence ratio, it's based on a coincidence ratio, which is generally given, and from it we can calculate the reduction in minimum design metal temperature without impact testing from figure UCS66.1. The equation to find out coincidence ratio is TR into E times divided by TN minus C where TR is the required design thickness and E is the joint efficiency, TN is the nominal thickness, C is the corrosion allowance. Generally, co coincidence ratio varies between 0 and 1. For example, if we have a pressure vessel that is fabricated by using as a 516 grade 70 material and whose minimum design metal temperature is minus 45 degrees Celsius, and our thickness of the vessel is 25 mm. And the given coincidence ratio is 0 0.80. Then draw a perpendicular line from the given coincidence ratio that is 0 0.80 till it touches the curve. And right from there, draw a perpendicular line till it touches the x-axis, which is the temperature. In our case, it will touch us 10 degrees Celsius. And subtract this temperature from the permissible minimum design metal temperature without impact testing that is given in table UCS 66. In our case, one inch material, 25.4 mm thick, as a 516 grade 70 normalized material. The Minimum permissible temperature without impact testing is minus 35. So add this, so subtract this 10 degrees Celsius with minus 35. So we will get a temperature of minus 45 degrees Celsius. That means up to minus 45 degrees Celsius, we are exempted from impact testing. In our case, the minimum design metal temperature is minus 45 degrees Celsius. So we are exempted from impact testing in accordance with the UCS 66B. If we are not exempted from impact testing as per UCS 66B, then we have to move to UCS 68C to check whether our pressure vessel is exempted from impact testing or not. It says that if, a, if PWHD is not a core requirement and if we carry out post weld heat treatment, a 17 degrees Celsius bonus will be granted to you to reduce the minimum permissible temperature in table UCS 66, which is applicable only to P number 1 material. That means if PWHD is not mandatory or not a core requirement for P number 1 material, 
What are the condition that PWHD is mandatory for P number one material? The first condition is whether our material is subjected to lead the service, and the second con condition is whether our nominal thickness of well increased greater than 32 mm. If the nominal thickness of well metal is less than 32 mm and the, our vessel is not subjected for lethal service and we have done PWHT, then a 70 degree Celsius bonus is granted as per the code. For example, we have a pressure vessel whose minimum design metal temperature is minus 50 degrees Celsius and is made up of SA 5 and 6 grade 70 material and thickness is minus 25, thickness is 25 millimeter or 1 inch. As per UCS 66B, that is coincidence ratio, we are not exempted from impact testing. But if we have a done PWHD, then a 17 degree Celsius bonus is granted as per UCS 68C. That means minus 35 minus 70, that means a 17 degree Celsius bonus is given by the code. So subtract this 70 degree Celsius from the permissible minimum temperature without impact testing, that is minus 35 which is given in figure UCS or table UCS, UCS so we will get minus 52 degrees Celsius that means up to minus 52 degrees Celsius we are exempted from impact testing since our minimum design metal temperature is minus 50 degrees Celsius we are exempted from impact testing so in order to make an assessment whether our material is exempted from impact testing, we have to go through UG20F, UCS 66A, UCS 66B, and UCS 68C. Hope this video is clear to you all, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you once again.